Hi everybody, Miss Kate here. Uh, so you know, I've been sharing different stories for different themes like Black History Month and Women's History Month. Well, April is National Poetry Month. And poetry is kind of hard for younger kids because so many of the picture books that we share rhyme. So they're almost poems anyway. But there are also a lot of really great poems um, in collections, like A. A. Milne, who wrote Winnie the Pooh, he wrote lots of wonderful poems, and one of my personal favorites, Shel Silverstein. Uh, I could just sit here and read this entire book to you and giggle and giggle and giggle, but I won't do that to you because that'd be no fun for you. But that's what I'm going to do this month is pick out a few really exceptional poems or funny poems that I want to share with you, okay? So today I am going to start with Shel Silverstein. This is from the book Where the Sidewalk Ends, which is just one of his many, many collections. You can see this is the one I'm going to read today. It's called Sick, and it's kind of fun. Um, but if you flip through, there are these really funny, there's a dentist and a crocodile's mouth, really funny pictures and short little poems, longer poems. So if you've got someone who's just starting to read or maybe is a little intimidated by long books, long novels, anything like that. These books are awfully fun. Okay, enough chatter. I'm going to start. This poem is called Sick. I cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash, and purple bumps. My mouth is wet, my throat is dry. I'm going blind in my right eye. My tonsils are as big as rocks. I've counted 16 chicken pox. And there's one more, that's 17. And don't you think my face looks green? Ugh. My leg is cut, my eyes are blue. It might be instamatic flu. I cough and sneeze and gasp and choke. I'm sure that my left leg is broke. My hip hurts when I move my chin. My belly button's caving in, my back is wrenched, my ankle's sprained, ugh. My appendix pains each time it rains. My nose is cold, my toes are numb, I have a sliver in my thumb. My neck is stiff, my voice is weak, I hardly whisper when I speak. My tongue is filling up my mouth. I think my hair is falling out. My elbows bent, my spine ain't straight, my temperature is 108. That'd be hot. My brain is shrunk. I cannot hear. There is a hole inside my ear. I have a hangnail and my heart is... What? What's that? What's that you say? You say today is Saturday? Goodbye. I'm going out to play. So was little Peggy Ann McKay actually sick with all those things? Did she have a broken leg and, and a cold nose and numb toes? No, she was being silly. She didn't want to go to school, so she was pretending to be sick. As soon as she found out that it was Saturday, she felt all better. <laughs> and there's a little picture. This one doesn't have a great picture. But there is little Peggy Ann McKay hiding in bed. So that was the first uh, poem that I wanted to share with you. I've got a few more picked out that we will go through, but what's really fun, especially for kids, is to talk about the big words in poetry. Oh, I already closed my page. I don't think there were too many really big words in that one, but there's another one or two that it would be fun to pick apart the different words that they use. Poetry lets you tell a story with really fancy words, kind of. So maybe you could try writing some poetry. What do you think? Can you think of some fancy words to tell a story with? Yeah? Oh, I hope so. I would love to hear them or read them when you're done. Please and thank you. Okay, so that was our first one from Shel Silverstein's Where the Sidewalk Ends, which is one of my favorite books ever. Okay, so I will see you soon. Uh, keep reading, stay safe, and I'll be seeing ya. Bye.